Who do the Jets play? They play Kansas City. And what are they famous for in Kansas City? They're famous for barbecue. And guess what we're making today? We're making spare ribs every day. Cooking, dad. Cooking every day. Welcome men. Welcome back, guys. The Jets are playing Kansas City. And we're making Kansas City style spare ribs. And we're going to be making our own barbecue sauce. You know, we want to make it Kansas City style. So we got salt. We got ketchup, we got tomato sauce, we got celery seeds, we got chili, we got smoked paprika, we got cayenne pepper, we got red wine vinegar, we got liquid smoke, we got cinnamon, we got brown sugar, we also got some molasses, right? And we got our black pepper. And guys, this is what we're gonna be putting on the ribs, because we're gonna go outside, we're gonna smoke them on the Traeger. We got this Weber, this Kansas City barbecue rub. This stuff is good. So. I'm gonna get started on the ribs, get these outside, and um, it's gonna be a three hour cook, so let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna prep the ribs here. So we're going down with our Kansas City uh, Weber dry rub, and I'm not removing the membrane. And at the end of this cook, you'll understand why. I, I don't think it's necessary in this situation. This, this little fat here, I'm gonna leave it. Um, no big deal. Guys, I'm not making a big fuss. These ribs don't are not being bought in a the store. These are just be eaten by us, but they're gonna be just as good. And at the end of this, you'll see why you don't need to move, remove the membrane. And guys, I'm just doing this right out of the package. Now you see some people, they go ahead and they cut all of this off. Guys, this is eaten. You eat this. You don't throw it away. Right? I guess where I come from, you eat all the food. You don't throw it away. And this, I'm going to have to remove. I didn't see that there. Hold on. This we have to remove. This is not good eats. This is that rubbery fat. This is not good eats. Okay. All right, now that we got that done, down with our rub. Now this is our presentation side. So just before we put it on the grill, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it again with this Kansas City rub, just so we don't have any fingerprints. You eat with your eyes, right? All right, guys, it's been 30 minutes, and this is what our ribs look like. All right, so we, it all has it adhered pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these outside. All right, guys, so we're outside, and I'm gonna put these down in the grill. No particular special way. All right, and that's it. I'm not doing anything else to these ribs. They're gonna just stay just like this for the next three hours. We'll check on them in two, and that's it, guys. So let's just go ahead, go back inside, and get started on the barbecue sauce. All right, so we're gonna get started on the barbecue sauce. Um, so we're gonna get two cups of tomato sauce. Then we got two cups of uh, ketchup. I hope I don't need a bigger pot. All right, so we're going with a bigger pot. Now we got one and a half cups of red wine vinegar. We're going in with four teaspoons of this liquid smoke. All right guys, so now we're gonna go in with our dry ingredients. Um, it, it, everything will be listed below. Um, so I'm just going in with it. And 
And then almost forgot the molasses. So we're gonna go in with a half a cup of molasses. I'm gonna just kind of eyeball that. I'm gonna say that's probably about a half a cup. Guys, we're gonna let this simmer for about 30 minutes. So this is gonna be simmered and ready. It's three hours or so before our ribs are done. Guys, that's it. This is super easy. All right, guys, we're at the uh, two hour mark. And this is what we got. They're a little dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spritz these with some water. And that's pretty much it. We'll see these in another hour and a half, two hours. All right, so we're three hours in, three hours in like 15 minutes or so. So we did give a spritz around two hours. So you see we're starting to get a little slight pullback on this one on the bone here. Got a little bit pullback, but not much. But so we're gonna go ahead and tempt these just to see where we're at three hours in at 178, 166. So I'm just gonna hit this again in the spots that need a little bit of water. I guess we'll see this in another hour. Now you, you know what guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. I'm going to go from um, 225, I'm going to go from 225 up to 250. Alright guys, it's been 40, 40, 40, 45 minutes or so since we've turned it up to 250. And we got, look, we got a significant, significant pullback. A little bit here. Right now, you don't get a super pullback because we're not... Um, uh, braising it in, in aluminum foil. We're still at one, 180, 178. Just give this a little squirt right here. A little squirt right here. All right, guys, real quick. Let's take a quick look on the bottom of this. See, that's not bad, right? Let me bring you guys in a little closer. Hold on. Guys, that's not bad, right? Yeah, that's with the membrane still on there. Yeah, guys, you don't always have to remove the membrane. I mean, I'll eat that. All right, but let's give this a bend test. See, all right, it's just about there. I'd say it needs probably another 30 minutes or so. And you know what? In that 30 minutes, I got to thinking, why not go ahead and put the uh, barbecue sauce inside the grill? Guys, this Ironwood XL is, is it's a worker. It's an iron horse. It's a workhorse. Yo, this thing, this grill really works nice. All right, so let's close this down, and uh, we'll see you in like 45 minutes or so. All right, guys, so it's been about 45 minutes or so. That's it. We're done. Look at this pullback. Look at that pullback. It's nice. Our barbecue sauce is going. These are coming off. And these are going to rest. This is perfect. It's bending but not breaking. That's it. They're coming off. Guys, no fuss, no muss. This tray is doing its job. All right, we're going to get these inside and I'll get back with you later. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a while. These ribs have been sitting out for about an hour, two hours now. I was watching a football game, so they're not hot and fresh. So let's see what we got on the inside here. Let's go down the bottom. And, and you know, we were talking about the um, not removing the membrane on the back. I want to show you guys something. These are the ribs. This is what they look like. Right? 
Now I'm gonna give it the bite through test and see what we got. Bite through. Just come right off. Actually quite tasty. So we got a decent bite through. Ribs are juicy even though they've been sitting around for a little while. I'm gonna go ahead and put some barbecue sauce on this. Here's our barbecue sauce, our Kansas City barbecue sauce. Now I was gonna go ahead and put them, sauce them down and then let them cook on the, on, on the grill. But I decided to just take it and pour it over top. This way, because the ribs are good enough. I like them basically dry, just like this. So I decided to put the barbecue sauce on the side. So let's go ahead and go down with some barbecue sauce. Let's see what this tastes like. Our Kansas City barbecue ribs. Right, this is good. Every day cooking, Dad, cooking every single day. Take a look at some of these other recipes and let's get cooking.